Hey, it's Eric Byler for TYT Politics. Environmental activists have just completed a rally outside of the United States District Court in Washington, D.C., where tribal governments and environmental activists have argued for a preliminary injunction to stop construction on the Dakota Access oil pipeline. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe uh, filed an injunction against the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for issuing uh, permits for the Dakota Access Pipeline uh, to come within a half a mile of their uh, traditional territorial lands. Uh, the pipeline is scheduled uh, also to cross under the Missouri River and that will also threaten the tribe's only source of fresh drinking water. People still don't think we exist. They're like, oh, you're native? I thought they died out. I didn't know you guys were real. Do you still live in teepees? We are still here. We still matter. There may not be a lot of us, but once we come together, which we have back home, I'm so proud of everyone back home. Tell me what you understand about what's happening inside the courtroom right now. From what I understand in the courtroom right now is that, you know, we're speaking up. We're getting our chance because they didn't give us that chance before. So right now, our chairman, our council people are in there representing us and telling them that we don't want this. Construction of this pipeline will also destroy and disturb uh, many different sacred sites and burial grounds of the Sioux and other tribal nations in that region. We have to stand up and fight as our grandparents did, our late grandparents, great grandparents, and it goes on and on. So let's, and I want to thank everybody, Wopila, Pilamaya, for all of you for standing here with us. The pipeline was originally set to go within 10 miles of Bismarck, North Dakota, which is a predominantly non-indigenous community. So why is it that it was not okay for it to be 10 miles away from Bismarck, but it's okay to be a half a mile away from the Standing Rock community and to affect the waters of indigenous people? We feel that this is a, a real clear example of environmental racism. And environmental racism is a term that's been acknowledged and accepted at the United Nations level. Uh, that's an international standard. And the U.S. is a party to the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racism. Today, we heard about the National Historic Preservation Act um, and the tribe's right to consultation under that act. In our original complaint, which we'll be briefing later, uh, we also talk about the Rivers and Harbors Act, the National Environmental Policy Act. So what is it in those laws that gives you reason to believe that you can prevail in this preliminary injunction hearing and ultimately in the case as a whole? Basically, all we're asking is for the tribe to have a seat at the table when a multi-billion dollar pipeline is putting risks and burdens on their doorstep. And that didn't happen here as it's described under the act. And that's what we're hoping that the judge finds today. I am standing in solidarity with the bravery and the courage and the resilience of the people from Standing Rock Reservation who said, this is not going to just affect our land and our water and our people. 18 million people in our country depend on the Missouri River for drinking water. And every single time we allow a pipeline to be built, whether it's the Dakota Access Pipeline, the pipelines that are going through West Texas, every time we, the people, allow that to happen, we are endorsing the fossil fuel industry. I'm like, I'm just a human being who wants clean water. I'm just a human being who wants a good future for my children. Like, you can call me an activist, you can call me an environmentalist, but really all I am is, um, we love water, not oil. That's a good slogan. Do you know why you're here? Why are you here? So, so other people don't, um, through the pipes, they don't put oil, we want water. There's really no place else for indigenous peoples to go, right? And so if you keep chipping away, chipping away, violating treaties, right, that we signed in good faith, which says that, you know, this is what we have left, right? This is what we have left for our people, our future generations. You're saying basically if it goes forward while the case is being adjudicated, uh, the harm could be so irreparable that it would almost be a moot point. Oh, well, the pipeline could be done. Where did you come from today? Um, Onondaga Nation. A long way? Um, yeah. Did you say, are we there yet the whole time? Yes. 